spinal cord stimulation may be used to treat a number of conditions. The most common condition that we use spinal cord stimulation for is failed back surgery syndrome. This is where you might have had a previous spinal operation, usually on the lower back, and you still have lower back pain or leg pain. Some patients who have had previous surgery on their neck may have pain down their arm as a result of damage to a nerve, and these patients can also be suitable for spinal cord stimulation. Essentially, anyone who has severe pain going down their arm or their leg as a result of nerve damage or some other condition affecting the nerves could be a candidate for spinal cord stimulation. Not only can spinal cord stimulation be used to treat pain coming from the spine or nerves, but it can also be used to treat other types of pain. These include angina and peripheral vascular disease. There's actually a lot of evidence out there in the scientific literature now supporting its value in the treatment of heart problems and problems with blood flow to the legs. Failed back surgery syndrome refers to ongoing back pain or leg pain after spinal surgery. Unfortunately, it's a fairly common problem and can affect somewhere between 10 and 40% of patients who have undergone spinal surgery. In many cases, these symptoms can be treated with medications, physiotherapy and other strategies which don't require further surgery. A small proportion of patients, however, suffer from fairly severe pain and this may require consideration of more interventional approaches. Failed back surgery syndrome can be due to a number of factors. A small proportion of patients may have a recurrent disc prolapse. This can occur in up to 10% of cases. A smaller proportion might have instability of their spine, which can occur in around one in 20 patients. With either of these problems, further surgery to treat the structural problem may be required, and this may involve either a microdiscectomy, a fusion, or a stabilization procedure. These patients are not suitable for spinal cord stimulation. Spinal cord stimulation becomes a treatment option for those patients who don't have a disc recurrence or don't have any instability. These patients might have nerve damage or scar tissue formation or some other problem that has resulted in ongoing leg pain or back pain. They may have pain coming from the joints in their back or from other structures that we may not fully appreciate. Either way, these symptoms are fairly difficult to treat with conventional spinal surgery and consideration needs to be given to spinal cord stimulation.